Today, I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step vaccination schedule from day one all the way up to 19 weeks that will help protect your flock from devastating diseases like Merrick's, Newcastle, Gumboro, and foul pox. On day one, right after your chicks arrive or hatch, administer the Merrick's vaccine subcutaneously. This early protection is critical since Merrick's can silently affect your bird's immunity and growth. Around day 10, you'll give your chicks their first infectious bursal disease vaccine, also known as Gumboro, through their drinking water. When your chicks are about 18 days old, it's time for the second Gumboro vaccine, again via drinking water. This booster ensures a stronger defense against this highly contagious disease. At the two-week mark, your birds will receive their first Newcastle disease vaccine, commonly the Lesota strain. This is typically given as eye drops or through drinking water, helping protect your flock from respiratory and nervous system infections. By four weeks, if you're in a warmer climate where foul pox is more prevalent, administer the foul pox vaccine using the wing web method. For cooler regions, this vaccine can wait until six weeks. At eight weeks, your chickens will get their second dose of the Newcastle disease vaccine, Lesota, again via eye drops or drinking water. It's also the perfect time to administer the foul typhoid vaccine through intramuscular injection, giving your flock extra protection as they continue to grow. By 18 weeks, your birds will receive their third Newcastle disease vaccine, Lasota, to keep their immunity strong as they near laying age or market readiness. Finally, at 19 weeks, it's time to deworm your flock using a suitable dewormer in their drinking water. Deworming at this stage ensures your chickens absorb nutrients effectively and stay in top condition. This vaccination schedule is designed for those raising chickens on a commercial scale where flock size and disease exposure risks are higher. If you are raising chickens on a small scale and need a simplified or adjusted vaccination plan, let me know in the comments, and I will guide you accordingly. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more practical chicken keeping tips, natural treatments, and feed guides to help you raise healthier, faster growing birds while reducing reliance on unnecessary medications.